Fuck. Hello and welcome to the Cobb Bros Podcast. I am David, and I'm joined, as usual, by my friends and co-hosts, Barn Door. That's the noise a door makes on a barn. You almost had me convinced, Barn Door. <laughs> I'll make a sound of a door closing when you introduce me. All right. Well, Cyrus, how are you doing? Yeah, my door is closing. <laughs> well, can they? That was pretty good, Barndor. You gotta, you gotta step up your game. Colton, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, I'm Colton. You clipped right at the beginning, but watching your face on the webcam was priceless. Hey, this is pretty magical. Well, I, 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 I did, you know, watch the border of my webcam frame to make sure that it stopped clipping. <laughs> Fair enough. Because it only clipped right at the beginning, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. We heard, like, the first quarter second clipped, and then you came back. Well, we got Goodbye. snow today, and that's been interesting. I w- had to work in it for a little bit, but they canceled. So uh, what's up? Yeah, it was coming down a good bit for a minute. Of course, we always get it in March. Yeah. Like, we had our first recorded dry month in January this year. Yep. And it snows in March. Yep. It's the third or the... It's the sixth. No, it's the fifth. Sorry. Split the difference. Yep. (laughs) That's wild. We always get snow in March. Reno's such an odd place being in these valleys. We've gotten snow in July before. Or June. Yeah, it yep. started on the 4th of July when I was working at a gas station in 2006. <laughs> um, I'm also glad I filled up my car with gas yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gas jumped 60 cents overnight here in Reno. Yeah, that's bizarre. Yeah, I wish I would have filled up yesterday because it ended up being 4.15 a gallon today. Yeah, it, co- it cost a good 76 to fill my tank, and then now I did the math. It's going to cost a good... Almost hundred to fill my tank. <laughs> That's God insane. Damn. So I'm gonna be a skateboard person. <laughs> yeah. Catch me riding in your local barrio. Um, I looked it up. We haven't hit the record yet. As in, uh, like, there's the national average for gas. We haven't hit the record yet. The record was actually set in two, July 2008. And what was so that? That was four dollars and eleven cents nationally. Four dollars eleven nationally. Yeah. So okay. if we cross that mark, they're predicting that we could hit the four dollar mark nationally. Some people are saying by the end of the month, and some people are saying by tomorrow. Depends oh on what kind of analyst you are. Premium costs right now. Way too much. <laughs> it's a lot. Four eighty a gallon. Four eighty. That's regular here. Right next to our house, it's uh, five fifty or so. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Thanks, Russia. Yeah, let's put some, let's get our bike. Let's be a bike nation again. Yeah. I like bicycles. You bike, we bike. I need training wheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Motorcycles get great gas mileage. So, did we we talk about Russia, Ukraine on the podcast yet? No. Uh, I don't think we have. Yeah, okay. So, fuck fuck Putin, Yeah. first of all. Yeah, Putin can go to fucking hell. Um, Nobody, we shouldn't stand up for fascist people at all. So, fuck Putin. Uh, Go Ukraine. Hopefully, they win their war. Yeah. It's tragic. Rest in peace to everybody that's died, that's involved, uh, both on Russia and Ukraine. Because you, if you think about it from a Russian perspective, you got a bunch of bunch of young soldiers that are just being sent out to die. Yeah, they they're just doing what they're told. Um, and from what they're what some of them have been seen on camera <coughs> saying, um, some of them have been being told that they're going on drills. Yes, that they're telling some of the soldiers that they're doing uh, live drills, and that if you know if somebody's acting aggressive, you need to. Show, show them who's boss and wow. fire back and you know do what you need to do and don't let them interfere with your training and stuff i've heard reports that <clears throat> in russia too any kind of journalist that says anything regarding the words like war or russia doing anything like that the person posting it is getting thrown in jail for a minimum 15 year sentence putin's trying like, to make it very clear to his people that they're not in war and or it's not for those things but what they described as if you post fake to news his people that they are defending themselves against the ukraine and mm-hmm. the ukraine has invaded them um my notes today that i left in my notebook at home so i'm going to go off the dome here i was talking about sanctions like oh, if i were to get a book out of all the sanctions that have been imposed on russia it would sound like this and <laughs> it seems like everybody is putting sanctions on Russia and some companies are even putting it on Russia and Belarus. Yeah. Um, I wrote down a long laundry list of things that were video game related. And there's a long list of it. Like wow. it started with, um, I remember reading EA, they were taking out the Russian team 
and they were taking out Russian names and flags from uh, FIFA 22, FIFA Online, and FIFA Mobile. Holy then fuck. Then they expanded that into NHL 22, and now they've suspended their game sales, DLC, and virtual currency in Russia. Oh you know how bad God. you messed up when EA stopped selling virtual currency to you? Steam That's has all they want. All do. services in Russia as yeah. well. Um, other companies. Holy um, shit! I think uh, it's not Ubisoft. Oh, CD Projekt Red announced that they're seizing sales of all their games. Wow. Um, one of their sister companies. I say sister companies. It's a company that makes games that are related to what CD Projekt Red, Red do. Yeah. Um, forget their name. I wrote it down. It's like Beeble something. They announced that they're suspending game sales. Um, the Nintendo eShop has been temporarily suspended in Russia, not because they're being sanctioned, yeah. but because the ruble has dropped so much that Nintendo can't keep up with the price fluctuation of it, so they've completely shut down their market. Whoa. And you can't download games that you've purchased. <gasps> oh, my so God. So if you haven't already downloaded your console, <laughs> you can play it, but you can't go into your like your active downloads and re-download games that you've purchased because they've just suspended the service altogether. That together. is insane. Um, <clears throat> the ruble has plummeted to the value of one cent yeah it's, oh, i'm wow. sorry sorry i'm sorry one hundredth of a cent yeah the ruble wow. is worthless if you see there's there's footage of people in moscow lined up at atms trying to take all their uh u.s currency out mm-hmm. just to because they know the banks are gonna well, crash well, it, it's a penny it's a penny it's a penny okay, okay. still yep. next to worthless if that's a current american penny worthless yeah because the current well, yeah, American, considering the American penny actually costs more to manufacture than it's worth. Yeah. Um, yeah, I get the argument of getting rid of the penny, but if it's a number on the screen, leave the penny. It just sucks that we have to make physical pennies because of the numbers on the screen. Because uh, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like if you have a debit card, you don't think about all the cash you're spending. Your your life is just a number on a screen. Hmm. That's why I like to pull when I get paid. I pull cash out because if I can see the cash, it, I can spend it better. Yeah. Um, but. Going back to Russia, um, Netflix has suspended, or yeah, they've temporarily pulled production of anything that's Russian related, and they've terminated wow. all their exist not terminated, but suspended their existing contracts. So if they're working with production companies in Russia, they've put all of it on pause. Holy shit! And then didn't, <clears throat> didn't Visa shut off Russia too? Yes, Visa and Mastercard shut off Russia. They said no more transactions will go into in and out of the country ridiculous and basically it's just a game of trying to get the people to a point where they hit a breaking point and i don't know revolt they get revolt they get mad. Yeah. yeah i was gonna say like we're playing an interesting game and it's so <laughs> fucking tense but putin's the kind of animal that if he's backed far enough into a corner he will hit that button yeah that's why that's pe- the other thing that's why people are very worried if you know he gets to a point where he feels like he's gonna lose he's gonna do something ridiculous right. to ukraine to if he nukes Chernobyl, that's going to cause a very huge issue. Mm-hmm. Well, even the power station they have under control right now. Mm-hmm. Like that's you gotta Chernobyl. Hope. Yeah. They've, got, uh, they've got one of Ukraine's major power nuclear power stations, too. And it serves Chernobyl most of rubber, U- Russia. They were firing. Or Europe. I think it was me. yesterday morning I read reports that they were firing artillery at it. At a oh, nuclear sh- reactor. That's yeah. ridiculous. That's an active, like running one and yeah they have taken over the chernobyl site as well i know colton's yep. looking at and it, if, if they nuke that facility mm-hmm. the debris that would be put into the atmosphere would go global yeah it, it it seems like a man that's too lustful for his grasp on power that he's just yeah he's completely overstepping what a, a world leader should do in today's day and age especially yeah. when we're talking nuclear uh, armaments <clears throat> yep um, it's terrible. High alert. Yeah, and I, f- I feel bad for everybody involved, obviously, except for Putin. Fuck you. Um, yeah. How do you say fuck you in Russian? Sukobuyat. Yeah, fuck that Sukobuyat. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's terrible, and there's a lot of tragic loss of life that really doesn't need to be happening. Just, yeah, unnecessary. Uh, it's completely unnecessary. Unjust. It's not like Ukraine slung shit at his castle, and he was like, I'm mad and killed four people. It's... Russia, Putin just like, oh, oh. yeah. I fuck you in Russian I, I is Pashel Nohui. Pashel Nohui. Pashel Nohui. Pashel Nohui. Sounds like a bionicle, dude. Uh, I'll, I'll link it in Discord. Okay. Um, it's terrible. Just somebody with their major, major grasp for power. And I had a, a laundry list of things that were being sanctioned against Russia, and it's crazy. Even the prime minister of the um, Ukraine. 
has asked for uh, Microsoft and Sony to shut down Xbox and PlayStation servers in Russia. Hasn't wow. happened yet, but if that happens, then now you're going to have a bunch of mad gamers. Can you imagine a bunch of angry <laughs> Fucking gamers? mad gamers! Get the fuck out of here! I'm all hacked up on my G Fuel! <laughs> and fuck. I got no games! I mean, you can play games, but you can't play them online. Sorry. Take Apex away from the Russians? What are they going to do? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, they have all of their own vodka now because they've banned selling any Russian vodkas. We got Tahoe Blue. Tahoe Blue. <laughs> thank, thank you for living in Reno. I want to get sponsored by Tahoe Blue. They sponsor like everybody in yeah, town. Exactly. I want to get sponsored by a sponsor. Yeah. yeah. I want to get sponsored. Sponsor us. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to look out for like events and stuff. I want to be, I want to attend events as much as we can. Uh, while we're approaching summertime, it's There's going to be lots of events. Art Town is coming up, and that's that's a big one to jump on top of because uh, Art Town has events every day happening in Midtown. Right. Reno so is Art Town. Day. Yep. Reno is Art, Art Town. Town. Mm -hmm. I'd love to live in Midtown, but I don't want to pay 3000 for an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Yeah, I was looking at apartment That's where houses. you buy an entire apartment complex, live in the penthouse, and rent out the rest of it for the mortgage amount. When do you get the street sweeper to come clean them up, all the uh, the homeless people? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that works. Or just use the backhoe. A 12 gauge. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> you would still need a street sweeper for the after fact. <laughs> yeah. Just, they just saying. They just tore down an old motel. I forget what it's called on um, oh, yesterday. Right. And that's where a bunch of homeless people were camped up at. And a lot of people are worried because if you displace homeless people, they're just going to go somewhere else. <laughs> Which is why it's important to have like a shelter or something where, where they can all like uh, gather, because mm -hmm. it's better than having them just sleep in, in random places. Yeah. Every big like every city with over a certain number of people, mm -hmm. I would say over ten thousand people, needs to have a building that is specified for homeless to live in, but mm -hmm. they have to check in and out of it to I, stay there. I understand that people are like, oh, we don't want to do this because it incentivizes incentivizes people to be like homeless. Who the fuck wants to be homeless? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. You think they chose to be homeless because they're like, oh, I can't wait to go broke and lose everything. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no, these people are struggling, and it's hard to get back up, especially when in today's age you need a phone, you need a place to shower, you have to have transportation. Yeah. That same. Yeah, but most of them have that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's it's more common to see <laughs> homeless people with cell phones, because you can get a cheap track phone at Walmart and yeah, yeah. pay for service every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Cricket Metro. Mm -hmm. But if you see a homeless dude rocking an iPhone, either he one <laughs> stole it or two is not as broke as he thinks he is. Yeah, he's gonna walk back to his grill afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of tells, mm -hmm. I think. Um, but yeah, it's a sad situation, mm -hmm. and it's mistreated and pretty much everywhere you go nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's hard to find anywhere that you know has a good way of dealing with that situation. And shit, maybe it's not that easy, but damn, at least a little effort shown would yeah. be something. It's not a problem I've ever had to deal with, but I couldn't imagine being at a point where you just you were so out of money that it's it's far gone. Yeah, there's not an immediate solution, nor is there like a remedy in the near future. Give them all the option to be moved to Hawaii. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, are we gonna put them on ships? I read about this in history books. <laughs> Titanics? It's a terrible quote. No, they, Wait. They can fly. That's inhumane. Yeah. But, no, they, they, they just go fly. and live Fly? fly. Yeah. Colton, are you fly. insinuating that you want to tar and feather homeless people? I cannot <laughs> yes. believe you. Colton. Sure, why not? Shoot them out of circus cannons and see how close they get to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. No, Call I'm it just, a 4th of July saying, game. We don't say give homeless people the option to be moved to Hawaii, no. and then they we don't have to worry about them coming back unless they get employed and make money, and then they can fly back. Hmm. Which island? The lava Any one. <laughs> the lava one. <laughs> <laughs> they got names, bro. <laughs> and I Maui really don't want to. <laughs> see, I don't want to butcher them. That's fair. It's okay. <laughs> how many? How many uh, islands in Hawaii are there? Four? Seven. There's a lot more. There's like a seven. fuck ton. No, seven. I'm thinking of Alaska. My seven? Bad. seven. I'm pretty sure it's seven. I was thinking okay. of Alaska, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's how much I pay attention. You were more there than halfway there. four big ones and three <laughs> small ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know the four big ones. How about that? There you yeah. go. <laughs> that's all you need to know. 
And then Alaska's islands go down like that, and they're, that's the most islands in an island chain in the world. Speaking mm-hmm. of Alaska, that's crazy how close that puts us to Russia, too. Oh, yeah, why, everyone why thinks is Alaska that... not firing cannons at Russia, by the way? Because we don't want to be nuked. <laughs> we like life. We're, we're staying out of it. <laughs> we like life. It's like Do watching... we like life? Yes! Enough to where I don't want to be nuked! No, it's like watching an older brother whoop on his younger brother in a store, but you're not really doing anything because they're brothers, but... Dude, mom once you will get, get him involved, when it's Then time. the big brother's gonna hit you. <laughs> and then you gotta fight the big brother. The big brother's got a knife. <laughs> big brother don't play even no more. <laughs> yeah. Big brother won't knife his little brother, but he'll knife your ass. Exactly. Wait, isn't just like this is just like the plot of Stand by Me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to see a dead body? You want to see a dead body and they're poking bellies? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the problem with Russia is it's so big, but it's so uninhabitable because it's a bunch of bedrock that you can't live on. Yeah. I'm gonna go and and the frost. Fuck. Yeah. Unf- unfertable land. That's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> they were unfertable. <laughs> unfertable land. Yeah. Um, it's a verb. Fuck. Something else that's kind of like heartbreaking, but it's an advancement, whether one way or another that you look at it. Once the North Pole melts, it's going to be a major uh, transportation route. <laughs> and it's almost fucking there. How sad is that? Mm. So instead of getting well, a bike, I should get a boat. So yeah. it can be yeah. argued on this on the same thing that global warming is the reason the the poles are melting and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. It can also be argued that we are just finally coming out of the last ice age to sure. start the cycle over again. Sure, either because way. Because mm-hmm. Africa, like Egypt, Central Africa, South Africa, was all an extraordinarily green, luscious, vibrant paradise at one point yeah yeah see the po- polar bears don't see it to go that through way. that the polar bears are just going to disappear one day and that's going to be the sad part well there's l- land up there too a little it's bit n- it's not not yeah not just there's ocean a, there's a lot more land than you think yeah yeah it's of, like antarctica well, of course, but still it's it's it is impacting the polar bears you know yeah, we won't polar get a, bears are cool. We well, like, a, don't be deceived by those pictures of polar bears that are, like, super fucking skinny and wet and look like they're right. dying. Because that's literally what bears look like when they come out of hibernation. Because right. Right. <laughs> they haven't eaten in fucking three months. Six We're months. gonna be missing yeah. out on a Norm of the North sequel, man. Um, <laughs> my homie. Fuck. <laughs> Norm, we're looking for out for you. Sorry, no, Norm. It's weird. You know, just, like, how, how Earth changes all the time. One way or Survival another, whatever it's... Fittest. Yeah, you know it leads to uh, climate yeah. change and awful environmental practices? Nukes. NFTs. That too. Oh. <laughs> that's why yeah. sea creatures are older than anything we could ever imagine, and that's why there's a lot of sea creatures that we don't even understand. Okay, so we're just going to hide in our swimming pools when he nukes us. Just about every That'll single work. kind of animal that lives in the water and has eyes sees better than any land animal. Because they came from the water first, and that's where the first eyes came from. So they've just kept seeing better and seeing better underwater. Wow. Absolutely. That's you throw them out of the water, and then they're far like, enough oh. away from the <laughs> And if you are far enough away from the blast, being underwater in your pool would help protect you from radiation. Mm-hmm. You know, until you have to go up to take a breath, and then you just go up into a fireball. Yeah. <laughs> There's well, not going to be a lot I'm of oxygen there. Like breathe in, lava. Blast, shockwave. Mm. radiation yeah <clears throat> if you're close enough to having to jump into a pool to worry about it then it's like the start of fallout 4 <laughs> i remember Mac, uh in high school when we'd sit down with master chief and he would talk about like his expertise in uh bombs and stuff like that mm-hmm. and somebody asked him they were like oh so you know you, you can defuse a nuclear bomb he's like yes left it at that and he's like yeah he's like i want to be as close to that bomb as possible because if it goes off i'm gonna be i'm just gone. it's done yeah he's like gone <laughs> you guys had a wild experience like being having a teacher like that you the know, teachers in rotc so were close, fucking crazy so close to fucking death all the, the time the uh senior ch- senior chief was a navy seal and i'm convinced that he was like in vietnam or some shit and had killed many people and whenever and whenever the kids that weren't weren't in rotc would just fucking argue with him he'd just sit there like 
yeah. <laughs> not yeah. saying anything. He's like, I don't give This is the shit. least stressful thing I've done since I was 16. <laughs> Go if for he it. doesn't need to talk about it, then you have something to... Or you know yeah. he's got something. So, yeah, and then uh, Chief, he worked at the Pentagon. Yep. Uh, Major was a Marine pilot. Yeah, he was a fighter pilot. Yeah. And no, he was, he was the... Gunner, not the pilot, right? Or he was the pilot, not the gunner. He was the pilot, not the gunner. Yeah, yeah. And then he, uh, and then Master Chief was an EOD, so he was the bomb he, guy. He defused bombs, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I always remember Chief <laughs> sat down because Chief was new my sophomore year, and he was talking to uh, the cadets, and he's sitting there, and he's like, "If you guys want to ask me questions, he's like go ahead. He had if some I can't cool answer stories. it, he's like, I won't let you. Yeah, kimchi, kimchi, dude. How you guys had when I was stationed in South Korea? We had the best kimchi." <laughs> Pentagon has four subways, and you know he looks exactly like the guy who uh, plays the Punisher and uh, the guy in The Walking Dead. Oh, uh, Shane. Yeah, Shane in The Walking Dead. That oh, actor okay. yeah. literally looks exactly fucking like him. He does. Look huh. like him. Um, but I always remember just there was a a freshman who raised his hand during the question section. He's like, "Hey, have you ever killed somebody?" He's like, "I will neither confirm nor deny that." <laughs> That's a yes. And then another kid raises his hand anyway. Have you shot somebody? He's like, I will neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> like, why do you want to know? He's like, yes, my partner in basic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will. Meet me in my office. Okay, but <laughs> imagine being a bomb diffuser. Mm -hmm. Like, every moment of your life, you're seconds away from just lights out. Yeah. It'd be painless, mm -hmm. but at seconds, your life the could be... The way to look at it, though, is... You're either Over. right or it's not your problem anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you Why do I care? I'm dead. Yeah, Come on. I guess so. That's just... It's, it's terrifying. fucking though. wild. <laughs> yeah. It takes a special kind of, like, adrenalist. Or... That like, they get, they get a Adrenaline yeah, chaser. Adrenaline chaser. Like, you, you know get your I mean? high off of running at a bomb and going, I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to solve it. I should have been an EOD tech. Is that, how, is, can, is that like uh, Master Chief ever needs to put that on a resume? He just solved bombs. <laughs> solved bombs. <laughs> Saved your bomb life. Solver. I have 100% success rate. <laughs> Got a bomb? No more. <laughs> Sitting in your chair right now. I said it's pretty successful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking Christ. That suit doesn't do anything for them really, right? It helps with like I mean, grenades. It, it'll okay. You'll get like a really bad landmines. Landmines. You get like it's a really like, bad shockwave, and it'll throw you. It's shrapnel, and it absorbs most of the more sh of the shockwave than your body would. Okay. But if it's a real fucking big bomb, then it's just gonna make you go inside yeah. the suit. <laughs> then you just turn into mom's jelly That's inside. Probably the built suit. in a way so that they spike in your heart and kill you immediately. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, big bomb. Yeah. Okay. IEDs, landmines, grenades. Those mm -hmm. suits will protect them from. <sighs> There was a um, Claymore's. You know, you know the Metallica music video for one, right? Yeah. It's about one of those, like a guy that steps on a landmine. Obviously, he loses all of his senses and he loses arms. Take like, uh, uh, my <laughs> It was it was a book. It was based off wow. of a book that was turned into a movie. And if you've watched the the movie, is depressing. It is so sad. That's where the uh, clips from the music video were taken. Okay, I did and not know this. Basically, the movie is about. It's exactly what happened. Steps on a landmine, loses all his sight, loses all his speech. The lyrics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the only way he escapes is he, in his dreams when he's talking to, uh, I can't remember who he's talking to, but he's living through his life and then a new life had he made it out of the war. But every time he wakes up, he's back into that room where he can't do anything. And then one of the nurses figures out, she uses Morse code to talk to him, tap on him and stuff like that. And that's how he gets his kicks out of when he's awake as he sits there and talks to the nurse through Morse code. Hmm. And then when he sleeps, he dreams and stuff like that. And one of his more vivid dreams was a message he tried to communicate to uh, the army after his accident was that he wanted to be put into a like a circus you know when they carry um, those floats on their shoulders he wanted to be put into a box and then shown the dangers of the army and just have him with no arms and no legs and he can't see and shit like that just parading down the street just to show the atrocities of war and yeah. then of course the, the major that came in or whatever or whatever his rank was he was like no absolutely not yeah, so basically, the the guy that was you know lost his legs. What do we call him? Limbless. I forget. What One. His name oh, his name is Johnny. The Johnny. Is John Johnny got a gun. So Johnny, he keeps trying to communicate that he wants to be a message for people not to join the army and not to get involved in these wars because this is what will happen. And of course, the major's like, no. So he t he's like, okay, kill me. And Morse code over and over again. He's just kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. That's all he said. 
And so he was like, absolutely not. We can't have you dead. So they leave, and the nurse turns around and uh, takes away his uh, oxygen and is about to kill him, and you can see him writhing in pain. And this is how the movie ends. And the commander comes in and pulls the nurse back out of the room and gives him his oxygen again. And they switch nurses on him, and that's how the movie ends. Fuck. Terrible. Mm. Terrible. It is, uh, it is a terribly sad movie, but it's a really good watch. Once. I didn't <laughs> describe it well enough as if you just watched it, but... For sure. It's depressing. Yeah, sounds so... That's why when Metallica wrote a song about it, like, watching the movie, you're like, God, that, that must have stuck with them yeah. for a long, long time. Because I think the movie came out mid-70s, and the song didn't come out until 89. Huh. Fuck. Yeah, that kind of stuff's crazy. And the disgusting part about it is, is... Uh, it's a reality for some people. Yeah. And it's unfortunate. And it's never going to be not a reality, you know, because it makes money. Mm-hmm. And people will always go back to it to make money for yep. hard times and shit like that. It's weird. It's called Johnny Got His Gun, and it's an hour and 50 minutes. And huh. it was based around World War One. Damn. Yep. It's a very, very sad movie. I think it's one of the saddest movies I've ever seen. Hmm. Just because there's no... Usually in a movie, it's always sad, and there's uplifting parts. There's nothing uplifting about it. It's just an hour and 50 of dread. Is it on any streaming platforms? I'm looking that up right now just to see if there's anything. And if not, it's a book. You can read it. I don't remember when the book came out. Well, books don't have pictures anymore. <laughs> um, it just says like you can rent it on books. Amazon. So okay. Got pictures. It's three bucks. Nah, you got your kitty cat. Aw. He's a gato. Now that we're done talking about this really sad story, nice cat, dude. That's a really cute cat. Yeah. Uh, Imagine if you didn't have arms to pet that cat. Thank you to all our veterans, veterans too. Yeah. Big thank you to all our veterans. Yes. Because that's... Uh, it's not easy. Even if, like, I, I, on TikTok, they make fun of people that, like, push brooms and shit like that in hallways. <laughs> but it's like, you still have the training, and you're still ready to go whenever. And if you ever get thrown in that position, you're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's a, it takes it takes a special person. There's a lot of jobs. People need to do them. So yeah. don't, don't give them shit for it. Yeah, fucking A. On to happier things. Anybody? It's all right. If that's not, a hard subject. It's all happy right. things. Life is, life is, this, this is 2022. Life is not happy. Bro, the next song on that album, like, there's one later called Harvester of Sorrow, and it's like, ding, 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 you know? And it's like, and then the guitars come in. It's like, Harvester of Sorrow. That sounded an awful lot like rock rock. That's what I thought it was, too. I was like, ding, 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 ding. That was like, that was Metallica? Rock rock rock. Trail comes in and just starts slapping the bass. Just <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, the big one that I can bring up right now is uh, Elden Ring. Absolutely. I decided when I got home today that I would pick that one up, downloaded it, and jumped into it for about 25 minutes or so. Uh, just went with the first character option mm-hmm. and hopped in. Got my ass whooped by that first boss. But hey, that game looks beautiful. It's a From Software game, right? Or is it no, someone else? It just looks like one. It's from Are you like, sure? It's, uh, yeah, it is From Software. I'm, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, it's, all those games are published under different titles. But yeah, it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a Souls game. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. 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 It's and it's just directed cool. by the guy that, or written by the guy that did Co-written. Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay. So George R.R. R. Martin spent a lot of time on this. Yeah. Yeah, it this, looks hella cool. Uh, story so far, mm-hmm. the story so far is pretty good, but I've got to put some more time into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I did hear online: don't head east, head north or south. <clears throat> Noted. Got it. I'm gonna go east immediately. Are you gonna fight Morgan Freeman? I don't have the game, but no. No, I just bought the South Park games, and uh, Colton has warned me about Morgan Freeman. Is Morgan Freeman in it? He's in the second game. Nice. Yeah, and he is the strongest character in the game, supposedly. <laughs> and it's a completely 100% optional fight. Correct. Hell yeah. I haven't played any of the Dark Souls, but... Oh. If I ever Whew. really feel comfortable with getting my ass whooped over and over and over and over and mm-hmm. over and over and over and over and over and mm-hmm. over again again? Yep, go, go for it. We'll go for it. <laughs> but... I gotta be in the mood for it. I won't do that to you again, but you get the gist. Yeah. yeah. I own Sekiro. I haven't tried it, though. 
Sekiro's I pretty cool. Too. Mm-hmm. Play a little bit of Dark Souls 3 with Brandon, and I'm apparently not good at it. Oh, I'm not there's three of them? Yeah, there's three Dark yep. Souls. The one that we did, did the recording on was Dark Souls 3. Let's see, okay. so I think all the games, it's Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and now Elden Ring. Okay. Fucking A. And those are all your Souls-esque games. Well, this one just seemed to have so many hours of gameplay within it that uh, mm-hmm. it seemed like a good w- place to jump in. <clears throat> and so far, so good. I'm Hell yeah. stuck in a cave getting my ass whooped, but hey, it's <laughs> it's cool and it runs good, so so be it. I would. Um, you could always leave that cave and go somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's I, that's a big thing about that game is that you're supposed to travel around. Yeah, right. it's cool because of the way that you go around and you face bosses. It's supposed to change everybody's um, gameplay, so everybody's game is going to be different from other people's depending on what you want to go do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. This one's not too hard, though. Like, it's just goblins and, like, uh, flamethrowers. So it's just, like, getting down the rhythm of not dying, you know? Jay put it into perspective for me. He's like, oh, it's just a Souls game, but it's open world? And he's like, yeah, that's why we're here. Yeah. (laughs) And? (laughs) Yeah. That's what we asked for. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the time, we're hoping for Skyrim or excuse me the next elder scrolls information on that and i don't think it's been necessarily confirmed yet whether we're gonna get it or not we've only have that one trailer right yeah that one teaser that was the only thing three and a half years ago almost four years ago yeah all they did was say yeah Mm -hmm. we're working on it i think i think that has a big reason on why this game is blowing up so much you know 100 percent uh because if it's their track record, Fallout 4 was their big project. Then they had um, 76 made three years later. Yeah. And the break between 76 and Starfield is going to be four years. Yeah. And that's not even considering that 76 was done by a different Bethesda team. Yeah. Or a, a similar team, but not but the same team that made uh, Fallout 4. So yeah. if the Fallout 4 team has been making Starfield for seven, eight years, how long do we got to wait for the next Elder Scrolls game? Because there were industry reports that they weren't even working on it. Because Starfield. Right. Because they're... Yeah. Man, that's wild, too. Because it's been... Starfield better be amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's been over 10 years since Elder Scrolls, and it feels like it's now their... 10 years. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It feels like a secondary uh, series to them at this point, because they if they can keep reselling Skyrim, what's the point of making a different one? Right. Yeah, new it just came out with the... The anniversary edition or what fucking yep. ever of Skyrim. The Series X PS5 version of Skyrim. Yeah, like, what a joke. Um, Yeah, I, I don't think I want to upgrade for the sole basis of I don't care. But right. I see the need for people. Like, if you're growing up and you're, like, 15 and you've never tried Skyrim, get it for your PS5. That's yeah. cool. That's, that's who I really think it's for because I don't think hardcore Skyrim players are buying the same game seven times unless that's why they're hardcore because oh. they're buying it. Yeah, you. I don't know. When I play a game like that, it's on that. It's on the system it came out. So mm-hmm. we'll say Xbox 360. I'm not gonna play it or like buy it on the brand new platform when I still got it for my 360. And all I need to do is plug it in real quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's not I that hard. Copies of Skyrim on Steam, Xbox 360, <laughs> Xbox One. Nintendo Switch. Hmm. <laughs> I own New Vegas on PC, PS3, <laughs> and Xbox 360 twice. Fuck. <laughs> so, I can understand that. So argument. Cyrus and I yeah. have a problem. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've only I bought am Skyrim. Too. Skyrim came with my 360. It was bundled. And then I bought the Xbox One version. And I haven't considered buying the Switch or the Series X version. Unnecessary. I, I, I believe. Yeah. I believe that is unnecessary. I guess I've done that with GTA 5. I was about to say, Skyrim and GTA 5 are running the same character arc and nobody's talking about it. Skyrim yeah. is worse because it's been out two years longer. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. That's so bizarre. It's okay. They can do whatever they want. So. Pretty much, I guess. We're going to still buy their shit when it comes out. I mean, yeah. It's okay. We have Elden Ring. <laughs> Speaking of game developers that are in shit, Activision's just uh, problem after problem. 
They're getting sued by a family of a former employee because uh, she committed suicide on a, a company retreat. Wow. And uh, it was there's multiple or there's just tons of evidence of sexual harassment against this poor woman leading up to her suicide and it was a company like retreat like supposed to be a some like you'd imagine getaway and you know yeah. just good times and jesus you're supposed to feel safe at work especially when it's you go and work for a company that's huge. in the middle of people's attention because they make millions and millions of dollars off of making you know a yeah. media product that people buy and then to go on a retreat and still feel the same way that you were feeling in the offices yeah this is just a bizarre story you know and it's terrible mm -hmm. that's why it shocked How? a lot of people when microsoft was purchased or purchased activision for so much that it did they think yeah. that the price of activision went down because of all the lawsuits and stuff like that because microsoft yeah. has that kind of power to um i wouldn't say necessarily get over as in oh we got to move past this but you know they have the the funds and the big lawyer teams that get past it and right. just kind of go you know we remedied it you know we purchased the company it's over sorry about that and then next year when the acquisition fully takes place is when they anticipate completely switching the ownership with the company right. um and moving in their leaders and when they're going to start moving teams around so it's going to be really interesting to see what microsoft does because i i guarantee they really looked into what was happening especially with that story um yeah. and other developments that are coming around uh blizzard as well right you would hope so for sure like, you don't you don't purchase a company for that much money and not have a plan of how you're going to remedy it that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Make WoW free to play. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on Game Pass. Yeah, WoW on exactly. Game Pass. Hey, we're sorry for the uh, the rampant sexual assault in our uh, in our uh, in our company. Here's WoW. Yeah, that girl's on Game Pass. Yeah. That girl's family has to just. It's awful. It's oh yeah. Terrible. They deserve all the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's just god awful and. Especially yeah, when that's... it's well documented and it's on pay it's in writing that nothing was done about it. Yeah. That's when it's even worse because it's like she was, it, it, somebody was trying for help, and yeah. that they never received it. Especially with a company that's as big as Activision that has resources to help somebody like that. Yeah, ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous in this day and age. Yeah, Sh shouldn't hope, be happening. I hope for the family that they get what they deserve out of this because that was heartbreaking. It's a sad podcast. On to yeah. better things, guys. On yeah, that's how things. that's how we started all that. You know what the worst thing is? Huh. The worst thing that I cannot fathom. Uh oh. I cannot believe. I'm gonna cry. I cannot believe I ran out of paper towels this morning. And I'm gonna go dry my hands and have used my pants. <laughs> you think you have it hard? I just <laughs> used my leg hair. Uh, I can come back there are yeah. children You're in welcome. third world countries that don't even get to wash their hands. Yeah, and I have to dry them out on my pants, Colton. Have you considered that? Yeah. Now my pants are wet. They don't even have pants. You ever had to drink your own piss? <laughs> you imagine having no arms or no eyes and not being able to just pull the snake and remember inside out. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I can't, I can't even fathom that. That's crazy. Is there something that I can relate to by, like, watching or something? Yo, Johnny's got a gun Johnny by got Metallica. <laughs> yeah, Metallica wrote it preemptively. They were like, "We're gonna, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make a movie." It's a real story about the lead guitarist for Metallica. Hey, Is he that old? He was a World War One soldier. Oh god. And his, and his life before the band. Wait, did he get a hair transplant? Is that how that happened? He yeah. got an arms, legs, and hair transplant. Yeah. That's why they call him Kirk. Yo, does he have a cat? <laughs> Captain. A Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk. Ah. Star Trek? You got him. Osiris said Kirk. Yeah. Oh. I said Captain. Something we mentioned in the last episode, we are talking about Futurama. And yeah. how um, Bender, his voice actor, John DiMaggio, was not on board. He's coming back! Yeah, he's, he announced that he will be playing Bender. Boom. They Boom. return it to Boom. him. His Boom. post was, I'm Boom. back, baby! Hell yeah. He brought all the blackjack and hookers with him. Hell, yep. mother. <laughs> now I'm on board with yes. this reboot, but I'm still curious as to how they're going to pull it off with how good the series ended. Yeah. Right. I have been watching an insane amount of American Dad lately. I think that show's great. Their later seasons are still pretty good because they don't take the show seriously anymore and they just let the characters kind of go out and do crazy <laughs> things, and it's hilarious. That's probably healthy, too. Mm -hmm. Like well, the, when they went to Iraq episode? Oh, my God. <laughs> 
when they did that, when they were trying to put Roger back together so they could find the fucking the golden poop that has all the rhinestones in it or diamonds. Yep. <laughs> and then the only way to win it is they have to play fast money with Steve Harvey. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an episode that I just watched today, and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this show's still quality. Um, compared to Family Guy, like it was a very serious show when it came out, but it was silly. Yeah. And now it's just all over the Ridiculous. wall, stupid, silly. All the, they just want to be as offensive as possible. Yeah. American Dad yeah. actually has writing that goes into it, so they're still trying to build these characters um, in a way where you just don't totally hate them. Yeah. Right. It's good. It's funny. I just watched an episode where uh, Roger keeps bringing out Raider Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and then Klaus had a Raiders jersey on, and they were stomping a dude in a Rivers Chargers jersey. He's like, Chargers aren't welcome here. Get him, Raider Dave. <laughs> He's like crying at the counter. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. There was, there was the episode where Haley and her boyfriend ended up getting the bounty money that Haley's dad had put on her boyfriend. And then they ended up spending all of the bounty money running from Roger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and every time he would show up, he would just go, Meah! Yeah! And he would yeah! shake his head. Yeah. <laughs> that was his big threat. My, I love the Christmas episode where they, uh, they accidentally <laughs> stand by his, uh, Steve, uh, AK-47, and Francine's against it. And he's like, come on, we're going to go show him American values. And they go outside behind a grocery store. And shoot at trash or whatever. <laughs> and then the trash pile starts bleeding. It turns out Santa was standing behind the trash pile, so they killed Santa. And they like went and dumped his body and buried him in the forest. And then they finally admitted it to Francine. Well, Santa's gone, but he's angry that they ruined Christmas. So the Smith family goes out and they hide in the cabin. And then they have all of the elves and reindeer run up at the cabin and it's just a massacre. Just a ma- they just start massacring elves. Okay, we gotta watch that. <laughs> It's a, it's a Christmas special. It's, it makes a family feel good. It's just heartwarming. Yeah. That one fucking elf is sitting there crawling away, bleeding at one point. <laughs> Ridiculous. Funny, though. Ridiculous. Goddamn. Hell yeah, brother. Like, people say it's worse than Family Guy. I'd put it on the same level as Family Guy <laughs> easily. I think Family Guy's more relatable. Yeah. But American Dad is... Just as funny. Yeah. I like American Dad just the same. I'll even go back and watch King in the Hill King of the Hill every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Um King of the Hill is Texas anime. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Counter yeah. argument. Um Man, I forgot the name of that show, but yeah, good point. <laughs> no, there was there was a post where some guy was like yeah, you know, I, I used to work at this big CEO firm or whatever, and there were some Japanese clients that were sitting there talking about King of the Hill and whether or not it was better subbed or dubbed. Huh. And they're like, well, obviously, um, the, the the English actually allows for the inflections and stuff to be mm-hmm. led over, whereas the, the Japanese dub doesn't. And that right there, that argument makes it an anime. Because everybody has the sub dub argument over that's animes. True. Um, that's that's fair. Very fair point. Very fair point. Yeah. Did you know there's that's like goofy. a there is a fetish? How do you say the word? Fetishization of uh, fetishization. West, fetishization Fetish. of Western culture in Japan. Like I don't know if you so. know this, but it's a tradition in Japan to eat KFC on Christmas. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Yeah. That's a real thing. Yeah, I said that one a while back. Um, they also have black hamburger bun- buns. Mm-hmm. I like was Burger King or McDonald's or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I, I was talking to some kid because uh, UNR gets a lot of kids that come from Asia, from uh, Korea, China, and Japan mostly. Mm-hmm. And when you talk to them, like, there's this Japanese kid. And I was like, so, you know, you came from Japan, right? And he's like, yeah. I was like, do you actually eat KFC on Christmas? He's like, yeah. Wow. He's like, I can't believe you guys don't do it here. And I was like, no, we don't. We really don't. <laughs> That's why it we sounds eat weird. Yeah, we eat turkey, and for some reason there was a huge marketing thing where they somehow they were under the assumption that people ate KFC on <laughs> Christmas because that's how people view Americans as fat, big truck driving slobs of meat. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get your cheeseburgers and KFC in. <laughs> well, I mean, fuck, in Japan, they have people that literally live inside of internet cafes. <laughs> yeah. They have internet cafes that have single room, like, apartments in them basically it's basically a bed and a sink yeah <laughs> they're mcdonald's and they or... live inside of internet cafes and they game 
all day long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wild. Different, it's a it's a complete difference in culture, but it's also like you see people here that are just totally infatuated with Japanese culture, and they watch anime all day, and they have to wear sweatshirts that have kanji and hiragana on it. And you have even to buy if like waifu cups says. and stuff. Yeah, and then they have to buy waifu cups that have hiragana <laughs> and kanji that they can't read. <laughs> Well, I, I just bought it for the anime <laughs> city. Cyrus is wearing a shirt with Japanese writing Oh my god, it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's a band t-shirt. Oh man, it hit my microphone. It says nothing more in Japanese, I think, because I can't read it. <laughs> well, it says nothing more in English underneath it. It's It's got... It's got kanji on it, and we didn't get that far <laughs> in, a, in a class. Japanese class would have been cool to take, but... Yep. There was so much to learn, and the fact that they cut the program after a year is a shame. But whatever. My my schools only offered Spanish and French. Mm-hmm. Apparently, when my dad went to high school, it, German was offered. Okay. That would have been nice. That would have been cool. Like, just saying. Can you imagine if German was anime instead, like just in an alternate universe? That's where it originated. <laughs> How do you say anime titties in German? That's a good point. Let's get Jamie to pull that up. <laughs> I wish we had a guy that could just find that. <laughs> I just saw Colton's eyes shift to the side. <laughs> Thank it you. Out. Right. <laughs> Shit, what else? Um, and you want it in Japanese, right? Yes, German. Oh, German. yeah. Thank oh, you. German. Mm-hmm. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, these cups are cool. I like, I mean, even though it's just weird to look at, and I don't want to admit to people that I own one of these. Anime titten. <laughs> nice. Titten. Anime titten. Anime so you know, these cups, they have like a weird foil, like a clear foil that they put on the bra and the pants and the eyes. See, it sounds weird when you say it out loud, but if you look <laughs> at the cup, you'd understand. But when you put uh, gamer subs into it, it lights up and yeah. it makes it like shine and it looks really cool. Right. But when I just described it, I realized how much of a fucking loser I sound like. Yeah. That, that sounded lame. Yeah. But I like this cup. I really like this cup. <laughs> it's a good cup. <laughs> It's, a, it's got cool colors. It's white and red. It's with a the regular lid. shaker cup with a anime bitch on the side of it. Hey, that's uh, what make it bitch. makes it special. Respect women, okay? I don't smoke weed. I get my high off of respecting women. <laughs> I would have said it was an anime... I don't know. Douche. I stink you right there. <laughs> Stop pulling waifu cups. Start pulling some respecting women. <laughs> <laughs> I do got enjoy the gamer stuff, so... I mean... I don't, I've veered away from the energy drinks because mm-hmm. they do hurt my stomach, and this this stuff's nice. Yeah, I've noticed I don't like Red Bulls. Or the only Red Bull I would drink is the watermelon ones in the red can. Yeah. Because it tastes like watermelon. Yeah. Um, but I've grown away from those. I'd rather just make a GG cup. Yep, it's easy. and The lids even sound sexy. Look at that. That's clean. A little crispy. <laughs> I left the Uline packet in it. You know, the don't snort it. Gel. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Just we, eat a full spoon real quick. I'm good. How much money will you give me? Yeah, how much money will you give me? Mm. So, we, I did the math on this a little bit ago. The amount of caffeine that's in an average GG scoop. Um, <laughs> if you were to eat a tub of this, a 60-serving tub, yeah, you'd get about halfway through before you would really need to go to the hospital. Oh. And if before you pass out, you're able to finish it, this will kill you. For sure. You Challenge just, accepted. You just straight up eat the Wait, powder. So then that one will much, double kill you. Yeah, because this is a hundred serving. serving. So there actually isn't a caffeine count on these, but it is projected to be a hundred, a uh, hundred um, milligrams per scoop, and the scoops are tiny. Like we're talking smaller than a dime big. Yeah. It's it, it's really tiny scoops. That's why it dilutes in the water so easily. Like because you think about Kool Aid and how much sugar and flavor packet you put in it it's less it's way less I, i'm i'm the kind of person that would end up putting a teaspoon into a cup oh my god i've wanted to do like five scoops just to see what happens well this just is like 300 milligrams supercharging my heart yeah and that's a lot i mm-hmm. i think 300 I milligrams is equal to a can of bang so mm-hmm. one of these tall bang bang one of these tall cups that has these respectable women on it um is the equal to a bang but you have more calories yes but it's organic caffeine, okay? Yeah, but you don't have super creatine. It's fucking organic. Yeah, but you don't have ultra COQ10 or yeah, EAA aminos. Yeah, because it's made in a A-A-A-Aminos. fucking lab. Yeah. You remember but that? But it tastes like grape. You remember that uh, rumor in high school that, um, well, taurine was bullcum, and so bullcum was in 
Yeah. Energy drinks. And I can't remember exactly what taurine is. I think it's a similar extract, but I don't think it's exactly bull cum. It's bull cum. Is it, is it no. exactly bull cum, though? No, right? We it's just, just a similar about. compound. Okay. Like, chemically, it's a similar compound that does happen to be found in bull testicles, I think is the Taurine fact. Taurine is an amino acid important in several of the body's metabolic processes. Okay. It's thought to have antioxidant properties, but little is known about the effects of long-term supplemental taurine use. Taurine is found naturally in meat, fish, dairy products, and human milk, and it's also available as a dietary supplement. Huh. But it has unknown long-term use effects. That's yeah, weird. You know, like growing a seventh testicle. Yeah, sure. I have one in my belly button. It's not that <laughs> unnormal. You know. I have 12 nipples. That's kind of hot. <laughs> Can I examine your sixth one? Only that one. That's all I want. You can see my third one. Oh, nice. I don't know. What other uh, wives' tales do you guys remember from school? Step on a crack Bloody and Mary, you'll Bloody be Mary, addicted Bloody to Bloody crack. Mary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the step on the crack one. I always... We'll come back to the Bloody Mary, but I always used to, like, walk on uh, street crosswalk. Mm -hmm. Like, I would only walk on the white lines, or in the stores, I would walk on the every other tile. Like, I was really fucked up as a kid or something, because I, I would always just fucking every other tile, or every black tile, or every white tile, don't step on the white tile, and those people in the store must have thought I was on crack or something. You have oh. ADHD, my friend. Look at the little crack baby. <laughs> Look at the little baby that needs Ritalin. <laughs> yeah, I never got it. Still probably need it. But Me fuck too. it. That costs money. So oh, does everything yeah. else. So we'll make do. Yeah. We're going to take a five minute break. I want a Ford Explorer to Timberline. You want a. F you want a what? I want, that I want that Timberline so bad. The Timberline is actually really cool. Um. Barndor, you had joined right after we stopped talking about this. But we went to the Ford website last night and got carried away with, like, building new cars and stuff, because sometimes it's fun. There's but, a new model of Explorer for 2022 called the Timberline, and it has a steel underbody skid plate, a higher suspension, and 300 horsepower out of a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. Wow. Yeah. So it's just like an off-road package, but it looks kind of aggressive, and it's stylish, and it's cool looking. Yeah, those fog lamps are pretty sweet looking, too. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, Moss Jeep. The Agorators! Agorators! <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I was building my own Timberland, and I got it down to 566 per month for 38 months. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. That's a lease, though. That's a lease. Yeah. But, I mean, I was able to get it to one of those. The timber lines are dope. You know, there's a King Ranch. The, um, the finance amount on those, though, is like $700 a month without a trade-in or trade anything in. down. I said this in the party yesterday. Again. Yesterday, I'll say it again. Um, <clears throat> if I took my Explorer to Ford right now, they'd give me a nice handshake for it. <laughs> Honestly, I think <laughs> you, you, right now in this market, you could get a minimum of 25 but you'd also get screwed buying a vehicle for the market adjustments yes market you, you could just sell your explorer on classifieds for like five grand <laughs> I, could, I could get five grand for that because i mean i got it all fixed and put all, all terrain tires on it paperwork is yep. a son of a bitch when buying private too yep um no, it's not if i if i go a sale and call the no, dmv i'm talking about having the paperwork for work done on it if i could Sorry. just sell it for the price that it took me to get the transmission fixed and the tires. I Wait, how are those doors open? 3500 That's just a... Oh, okay. I was like, what? Yeah. Do they have suicide doors? That's what? The no, suicide it's just... doors on the no. Explorer. The picture <laughs> removed the pillar. You gotcha. All. Can I call Ford and get suicide doors on an Explorer if I had a lot of money? <laughs> Probably not Ford, but I could show you a shop in town. Okay. Just, uh, Dude, that'd be know. so sick to get the fucking... <laughs> the going doors... The, like on the the Tesla X. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there's that'd a, be so sick to have those on an Explorer. There's a really awful thing about the Timberline, and it doesn't come in red. Yeah, that's weird. They have totally different color schemes. Uh, they want to go for a, like a foresty look, I guess. Right. The ST is their their performance model, and that's the one that comes in red. Like everything about it is red. The brake caliper like upgrade. The only color they will paint the brake calipers is red. Can I get a red King Ranch? Yeah, if you guys can't tell by now, uh, w most of us like Ford. Barn door, you drive Brandon's a Dodge. Indifferent. I could give a shit less. Yeah, I was, was going to say, you drive runs. a Dodge, but you, you don't really care. Do, does it drive? Nice. Good job, man. That's pretty sick. <laughs> Fucking A. It's kind of cool looking. There's a difference between all-season and all-terrain tires. Yeah. Yes. Uh, people don't understand that there's a difference, but there is. There's a 100% of difference. Colton, would you like to explain? I will get the... Well, all state stands. <laughs> so, it leaves you in good hands. Mm-hmm. Navigation system. I don't know. Biatch. I like my car because I don't make payments on it. So I'm a. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I take all that extra money and I buy shit I don't need. You guys <laughs> own your vehicles. That's uh, yeah. That's something to mm -hmm. speak of. This I, own, I own two nowadays. vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I own a 95 Explorer and a 99 Explorer. <laughs> what color are they? They are they? red. Both of them. Yeah. <laughs> All season tires are made to be most can things that to most people. They're specifically designed to handle most average driving situations, so they do not need to be switched out every time an unusual weather situation yeah, so just regular or even transit. a light off-roading situation is mm -hmm. encountered. Yeah. So it's like a just a, a transit, and then you yeah. hit a dirt road every once in a while and get back on the regular uh, asphalt. All terrain tires are built with the more specific purpose of tackling conditions not usually encountered on a daily commute or family trip. Bangs, Even though sir. they can be used for everyday driving, they fall short in several aspects of driving because they are designed to go places most people would not normally go. And they're not mm -hmm. fuel efficient. Nope. Correct. I would know. <laughs> They're not fuel efficient. That's why but... you were able to drive around on Pyramid Lake and my Michelin regular street tires were not. Yeah. So, yeah, I want to go back out to Pyramid with my new tires. For sure. For sure. I'm down. And we got to make another try. Shovels fireworks. in case I get stuck. Hell yeah. Well, Colton, I'm... you got those plates, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be getting those plastic plate boards, yeah. Then I will do and... the same. And I've got heavy-duty toe straps and... Uh, couplers and all that shit yeah when in doubt david bails us out just because of the grippy tires grippy grippy yeah we should also bring well, a shovel I, just in the, case this time yeah how uh, wide are your tires wide oh, so wide yeah i have 12 inch <laughs> wide tires yeah mine are like eight dude yeah. that's like a whole 30 centimeters dude <laughs> i i have 265 <laughs> foot 35 18s or something like that mm-hmm yeah, I'm 33, 12, 12, 20. Yeah. 44, 8, 10, 20, man. You know, That's just like, like a bunch of centimeters, dog. <laughs> ski, ski. How many meters is that? Can you convert in your head? At least a centimeter. Oh, Point, at least. <laughs> Point 0.6 meters. Got it. Splendid. 69. <laughs> nice. Funny um, number. Yeah. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? 69. They mean okay. you fuck, we fuck, he fuck, she fuck. Goat fuck. Sorry. Oh, Putin's that a goat time. fucker. Putin, Putin is, is a goat, a goat fucker. fucker. You guys notice how I don't have ice on my wrist? Like, clearly. No ice. No ice on my wrist. Yeah, no I got, ice. A, got an email yesterday. Uh, I own a Fitbit, Fitbit Ionic. Thick bitch. I got a thick bitch Ionic. <laughs> Sorry. So I, so I got a Fitbit, right? <laughs> he got a thick bitch on his wrist. Fuck. I'm that sorry. Thick. See my arms? Come on. Anyways. <laughs> Humbled me. <laughs> Anyways. I owned a Fitbit, and I've been rocking it for the last three years, and I got an email yesterday, and it was like, ooh, uh, special notice regarding your Fitbit. I went, cool. Probably cool update. Don't know if you looked at the news. Um, they're recalling a, over a million... Fitbit Ionic devices uh, for batteries overheating and burning people. <laughs> Sounds and normal. my device got recalled. And I went, oh, I'm having charging issues. <laughs> so I took it off. And uh, they're giving me the full refund for the device. So they're giving me $300 back. 
and they gave me a 40% off code to use on their store to purchase a new device. That's pretty sweet. And every device you purchase, you can purchase up to five with a discount, and you get a free strap. Damn. So I purchased the high-end model, and I got the free strap with it. What caliber? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon cocked his handgun off cam and camera. Pew, pew, finger bang. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Anyways, um, I only ended up paying 194 so I'm going to get $110 back for owning a Fitbit for three years. Nice. And a brand new Fitbit. That's a pretty sweet deal. Pretty sweet deal, but it sucks for the 112 people that got their arms burned <laughs> by, well, a, by a watch. Sometimes you got to get burned so that the rest of you can get a free Fitbit. Yeah. You got to play the system somehow. It don't yeah. hurt that bad. So I filled out the form. Just I put it all it back off. in its box because I still have the box and all the original straps and the charging cable. And I just set it on my counter. They'll send me a repair kit or a return kit. Repair and then kit. I purchased the watch and it'll get here in a week. It'd be funny if the watch got here before the return kit. <laughs> Um, but if you own a Fitbit Ionic, um, return, their return it. Cause even on their website, it says, please stop using this device. Damn. If, even if it works hundred percent fine, please stop using this. <laughs> I imagine they found something wrong with it over its lifespan and went, uh Oh, these batteries degrade, right. which is probably what's happening. Right. So that's why they're telling people, please don't use it. And, uh, I don't want to get burned literally and figuratively. Right. Um, got a new watch out of it. I'm not wearing my other watches because every single watch I own has a dead battery. <laughs> I felt that. I need to take him to a jeweler and get him swapped. Sorry. David How dare you? Soda cans. Well, they're into the new ones. Mm -hmm. I got to try another one. I'm Fair not point. quite sure how I know. You know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just how I know. Yeah. You know. No. No. When you know, you know. You gotta know. You know. You, if, know. you know. If it doesn't know, then you know. Oh, wait, hold up. This right. is the best part. You know. Swa swa swa. <laughs> Fucking A. I fix it. I fix it. Yeah, I popped, I popped open David's uh, Xbox, and it's not yeah. easy to put back together. We cleaned my uh, my super jet. We placed illegal hardware onto the motherboard. Yeah, we J tagged it, bro. <laughs> oh, that'd our gamer, be awesome. Our gamer tags have lights now, dude. <laughs> gamer tags are extra fruity. Fruity tooty. Mm-hmm. Poo Poopoozy. That's a jelly bean flavor, dog. It is a jelly bean flavor. You can get the super spicy ones. We should do something jelly bean related. Popcorn. What's your favorite? Mm. Sorry, I will <laughs> rewind. What's your guys' favorite <laughs> <laughs> jelly bean flavor? I've had a lot of those. Oh, man. No, I've only had two. Uh, cherry. Whatever the pink ones are. The red ones. The blue ones. The, the blue. The, light, the light blue. I like the, the ones that taste the like socks. <laughs> Those wait, are pretty bots. Wait, you guys don't like the bean boozled? Then they make their flavor bags and they sell all Dr. Pepper jelly beans and those are the best. Oh. Yuck. You, you shut up. Um, <laughs> they taste nothing like Dr. Pepper. Yes, they do. Yeah, they they do. like Dr. Pepper. That's why I recognize them as Dr. Pepper beans, bro. It's the 23rd Dr. spice. Dr. Pepper beans? It tastes like Dr. Pepper that you left on your nightstand for two days and then you refrigerated it and then the like, doctor, made ice cubes the, with the it. The Dr. Pepper jelly beans are the 23rd spice in Dr. Pepper. Will they grow, <laughs> will they grow a Dr. Pepper tree? Yes, it's a Dr. Pepper inception. What if you didn't make it that far in school? Where's your Master Pepper? Huh. Probably at my Junior Pepper. Where's your Associate's Pepper? <laughs> Went to two year, <laughs> two year program for fucking Pepper. <laughs> What, what's his degree, like, what is his degree in? Is it is he a doctor of Pepper, or is his last name Pepper? Is it really a doctorate? Well, is it Dr. Pepper? Is Dr. Phil yeah. really a doctor? Yes, but he hasn't renewed his license in a long time. Then I think Dr. Phil Pepper could be a doctor. <laughs> Dr. Phil is a got, fucking fraud. He uses initials. Well, what's Dr. his Pee -pee. face look like? Do we even know if he's white? Yeah, I think he's... I'm not going to assume anything. <laughs> what if he's... I'm not one to assume. He's... Pepper. <laughs> it insinuates it. You know. Charles Taylor Pepper. Born December 2nd, 1830. <laughs> died May 28th, 1903. What do you look an like? an American physician and surgeon who is often cited as the namesake for the soft drink brand. Wait, he didn't even create it. He's just the namesake? What the fuck? It's like that it Wendy's a chick. Wendy's, Wendy's has never flipped a burger in her life. She just got a restaurant named after her. 
I thought you said fuck the burger. Oh I was really God. confused. No. <laughs> Flip the burger. Can I get a Wendy's waifu cup? Actually, hold up. Dude, that'd be pretty hot. What? I mean, <laughs> what? say that again? Hi. We, we can't go driving by the fucking Wendy's with the pay play places. <laughs> <laughs> It was gonna lean out the window, say some weird shit. I'm gonna get all up in Wendy. <laughs> Wendy, I love you. <laughs> Be more so along the lines of talking about Wendy's flappy dappy or something. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Does she have pigtails? Maybe use them braids like handlebars, baby. You guys ever use do that shit when you were in high school though, just yelling out the fucking car? I remember we used Everybody to do it on did. lunchtime all the time. We were assholes. Oh, yeah. It's there was... Oh. Around noon, go to UNR and walk in front, that crosswalk in front of Canes, and for some reason, there's a bunch of university students that just start screaming at people. <laughs> I it, went, too. It's on It's on the UNR and Reno subreddit. People going, why am I getting yelled at in front of Canes, like crossing the crosswalk? Because people just lean out the window and go, hey, nickel fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking nickels. Uh, for a while in high school, I would walk home. Um, right before I... Well, obviously, but right before I got my license specifically, mm -hmm. um, I would go and I would be walking along and just choose a random person's fence to donkey kick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not where I thought that was going. And, you know, I played football when I was younger and I was a lineman most of the time. So I'm, my, my legs are built pretty well, you know? 95% mm -hmm. of the time, my foot would go straight through that fucking fence post, and we would just go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was always a little bit of uh, adrenaline. <laughs> you know, foot goes well, through David, the fence. If you ever walk outside and the rear bumper on your truck is kicked in, you can't be mad about it because mm -hmm. that's just karma. <laughs> no, that's why we get the heavy that's duty karma. bumpers. That's exactly why. Because <laughs> I know it's coming at some point, so might as well reinforce everything now. Yeah. You're just going to fold your fucking uh, tailgate in half. <laughs> I've considered picking up my skateboard and just throwing it at my car a hundred times and then just accepting the damage. <laughs> just keep the windows and mirrors intact, but fuck up everything else. <laughs> <laughs> See how it's long so it takes to get fucking pulled over. It's like, what? What is illegal with the car, sir? I have blinkers and lights. <laughs> my dumbass spray painted my truck in high school with a fucking rattle can. Someone else helped me with that, but that's a story for a different time. It was goofy. Wow. Silly <laughs> shit you do in high school. Though. Wow. Yeah, What's the but point of being a high schooler. <laughs> it's just to mess shit up. That's kind of what being a high schooler is. Yeah. I I I am the reason that we were not allowed to eat in the courtyard at lunch. <laughs> They're in eighth grade middle school. Because remember, they would let us into the courtyard. And yeah, me and my buddies, you know, so we were in the gifted program, right? And we're supposed to be the smart ones. Well, we would just smash food on the floor. <laughs> Fuck you yeah, guys. You were the gifted ones, would, but you also had autism. We, <laughs> we would literally see how much food we could gather from, like, like hot food and stuff like that. And just see how much we could mash into the ground. And we permanently stay in that concrete. It's so bad. <laughs> I remember we put it, I took a slice of cheese and I put it over a tree branch and I went, let's see if it's here after summer and that would be, be crazy to see how rotten and ooey and gooey it is. And then we weren't allowed back in the courtyard for some reason. It was crazy. <laughs> we had to eat in the lunchroom. I don't know how that happened. Birds had a snack. Oh my God. Yeah. No, looking back, I, like, I think it's reasonable to say that everybody is an asshole in middle school it doesn't matter yeah. who you are you were an asshole at some point in middle school yeah and probably a dumbass too yeah <laughs> like, oh my god yeah i for one was just dumb as hell <laughs> soon as i got to fucking uh ninth grade all the way through high school okay just dumb as Fuck. You know when you're in bed about to fall asleep and then you open your eyes and you want to punch yourself to death for yeah. like something stupid that you did? Yeah. 80% of those are like repressed middle school memories that I think of. Oh, that's all like 8th <laughs> grade yeah. up for me. Yeah, I feel oh, you there. Oh man, dude. I, I've done ridiculously dumb things for <laughs> no gain whatsoever. Mostly a net negative. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I'm rough. just sitting here giggling to myself the whole time because I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't want to talk about <laughs> Those it. were rough times. I don't know. I'm glad we all got through that. A lot of us didn't. Oh, man. I've lost a lot of friends. Well, we all have, you know, mm-hmm. like, whether they were mutual or connected to immediate, like, uh, ones close to us. But, man, mm-hmm. it's crazy. Lost dreams. That's why I, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Just so much potential and <gasps> death is a very weird thing. But on we go with them in spirit. Yeah. This podcast is dedicated to those that are here we with us. probably Fucking end man. this depressing yeah. ass podcast. Yeah, I was about to say, moving on from the third time going, anyways, from, anyways, from yeah, depressing things. <laughs> so let's like, let's say, get this to we this. keep doing this. No. We're just like, okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, we, we started like this in the even we, middle, and then we, we dropped hella down, and then we were like, oh, okay, 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 let's bring it back up, and then it just went straight back it's down. It's on my crypto wallet, it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Stocks are fucked. Oh, man. Everything's fucked. Yeah, see, it, it's just, it's where we're at see, right now. It's rough. To hit the fucking button. We're, we're gonna be okay. It's cool, and you'll have millions of Americans playing Elden Ring in the meantime. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, because we can't do anything about it. George R. R. Martin's end game was to never finish Game of Thrones and release Elden Ring right when the world nukes each other. Yeah. That oh, way. wait. What? Oh, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean that. No. I mean, the best we can do is just, uh, <laughs> fuck, be kind to Start your neighbors. Start dropping people into the Ukraine. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, <laughs> that too. I saw, my favorite <laughs> meme is like, we need to send a bunch of Detroit motherfuckers to Russia, and you're going to see their tanks on cinder blocks overnight. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Just take all our crackheads oh, from all the major so cities over there. Everybody with over a 10-year sentence gets a free ticket to the Ukraine. Oh, man, I wouldn't give a bunch of prisoners guns. I don't care where we're putting them. We're not going to give them guns. We're just going to drop you're them in. They're going to figure guns. it out. Just drop them oh. off in the Ukraine and say, go take care of Russia. Oh, my. Are we going to drop them in Every, like Battle Royale style where they have to you go You put, up, you put them right on shit. the Ukrainian border and you say, hey, go west. All that's yours. And they would take, they would get to Everything Moscow within two days. Is yours. <laughs> you have a good point, Barndor. I think Russia needs to learn the discipline of hood politics. <laughs> Or, My- or, honestly, we could just battle royale this bitch and send an AC-130 up over the top of him with a whole bunch I- of criminals in the back and be like, all right. <laughs> It's PUBG, boys. Get out of here. Oh, man. I had it. I had this talk with my dad the other day because we were talking about it. And he was like, can you imagine? If, if we were picturing, like, what if Russia invaded the United States, right? And they dropped troops in Compton. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that motherfucker Putin needs to spend a week in Compton. Yeah. <laughs> They would instantaneously lose. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I think Russia would lose handedly. Yeah. But. <laughs> or God any damn. Midwestern state, <laughs> for that matter. Yeah, you're not in the U.S., you're in Compton now. That's yeah. different. Russia's been at war for seven days. Compton? <laughs> Their war hasn't stopped. <laughs> yeah. It's the it's fucking the Waynesboro from um what movie is that? Don't be a menace. Yeah. When he's like, I got my fucking cause of nuclear <laughs> holocaust up in this air. <laughs> Putin comes down to street level and they just got nukes in the back of fucking new halls. <laughs> yep. I'm launching a nuclear holocaust up in this air. Have you seen that movie, Brandon? I've seen don't, that clip. I know. Don't what you're be a menace. About. Yeah, it's hilarious because it starts off with like handgun, then mm-hmm. shotgun, then AK, then RPG, RPG. and then he's like, "I got a nuke." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a good movie. If you haven't seen "Don't Be a Menace in the Hood" while drinking juice in South Central, highly recommend watching it. I think it's on Netflix. If not, it's on Hulu for sure. Wayne oh, Brothers yeah. are brilliant. They they are awesome. So many good movies from those guys. And that same guy, because you know he did the. He spiked his hair in three different points, and he looked like the, mm-hmm. uh, Cynthia Doll from Rugrats. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's in another movie with Jared Leto. Uh, it's called Requiem for a Dream. Another sad movie, but it's like actually seeing one of the Wayne's Bros like do a really serious role mm-hmm. because it's a movie about these. Um, it's about four people. Okay. It's about a guy and his girlfriend, his mom, and his best friend all okay. get addicted to something. Okay. And they all find their own addictions that they get addicted to. The mom's a pill popper, and the other three are drug addicts. Hmm. Well, technically, pills are sure. drugs. They are, but the the other two are hooked on, I think it's heroin. Oh, illicit drugs versus mm-hmm. prescription drugs. Yeah, so she gets all fucked up on prescription drugs because she thinks it's helping her. And then the other three are like, yeah, we're going to make so much money. And they do make a bunch of money, but they keep blowing it on heroin. Hmm. 
Yeah. Pairing. And then the money stops coming in and they turn on each other and still also do drugs simultaneously. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's another terribly sad movie and this very, very sad episode. But it's also But on to brighter watch. things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, more way in bros though. Uh, the the one where one of the brothers is the baby. Little man. Little man, thank you. I was that thinking one... a little man before you even described <laughs> it. <laughs> that one is fucking awesome. That's Ooh, one of my gaga? Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Key, key, give me the key. Okay. Key, one... key, give me the key. Right when they bring him home and they see his dick, and even the grandpa comes in, and he's like, oh, god damn. Or I forget what he said. Yeah. It's just so fucking funny. So I think it's Damon Wayne's plays the father, and then they put Marlon's Wayne head onto a little on a little person, right? And yeah. the little person is friends with Tracy Morgan, and they steal a diamond. And it's just Tracy Morgan talking to this, <laughs> what everyone else perceives to be a baby the whole time. And they think he's a pedophile, <laughs> especially when he goes to the park. So you have all these mothers running at Tracy Morgan. Shut him out! <laughs> <laughs> Hopping over shit. And uh, the only way for him to hide the diamond is he eats it. Oh, that's right. Wow, I haven't yeah. seen We'll have to go back and watch that. Mm-hmm. Cabro's it's, movie it, night, damn Cabro's boys! Movie. It's a it's a dumb movie, <laughs> but it's it's a fun watch. If it that is. makes sense. Yeah, like the premise is ridiculous, and the only person that has a lick of sense is um, uh, the granddad. Yeah, who also plays granddad in uh, the Boondocks. Some, and Friday, same actor. Yeah, he's the dad in Friday. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, he just he did just pass away. Yeah, like last year or the year I'm before. I'm completely blanking his name. Mm-hmm. He was I, also in Little Nicky. He but was in Little Nicky. His son is a YouTuber. That. His son mm-hmm. is a YouTuber, and he's awesome. He's got a great personality, and I enjoy his content, too. Mm-hmm. I heard him on it's the Joe Rogan podcast. No. no. <laughs> that'd be fucking funny. That would be. <laughs> no, he's not as popular, but he's got good content. And, I mean, uh, before he passed away, we got to get his name since we're talking about him. But before mm-hmm. he passed away, he had, like, a YouTube channel about cooking and stuff. Um Gordon Ramsay. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. And you know, I try. Yeah, well, you're almost right. Granddad. Robert Freeman. Robert that's his, Freeman. That's the name of the, the grandpa. Bon- Boondocks. Boondocks Granddad. Jebediah Granddad Freeman. Uh, There's a YouTuber, his name's uh, Berlizzi, and he did a video where he was watching an episode of the Boondocks, and it's when he meets that... Um, uh, he meets the hooker in the supermarket and he falls in love with her and he's like, we're going to be together forever. And she has to go back to the pimp and granddad tries to fight the pimp. John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon. Yeah. That's his name. Reese's dad. No. <laughs> what does John do without a spoon? Wither. Well, it's not his spoon. If it's with her spoon, <laughs> whose spoon is it? Who's spooning who in this situation? Her. With. What? Okay. John. Okay. Uh huh. Her last name's Berger. <laughs> yeah, Malik Berger as Vanessa. Is Vanessa the name of the? Who's Vanessa in the show? Oh, is that the white girl? I was gonna say it's probably the little white girl. Look Stop up Vanessa here. Boondocks. Vanessa is the wife to the Tom. whiny lawyer guy. Yeah, Tom. Okay. Yeah, Vanessa, hottest cartoon character of all time. <laughs> that is. A lie, and everybody knows it's Jessica Rabbit from Roger Rabbit. No, you haven't seen, like, Vanessa and the Boondocks. <laughs> so, yeah, look up Vanessa and the Boondocks. Come on, put a picture up on screen right now in the video. David, Got it? tell me. Come there on. it is. Look, it's so cute. It's yeah. not Vanessa, is it? That's not a white girl. What's the, what's the name of the white girl? <laughs> Just look up white girl Boondocks and see if it <laughs> pops up. What? Yeah, that's Vanessa. Vanessa is the one with the uh, fucking helicopter hair. Oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I was not thinking about her. Wow, she was not in for too many episodes either. That's what it's showing on um, Google. Freeze that shit first for like five what minutes. What is her yeah, name? Oh, it. yeah, the name of the episode where he dates a hooker is Guess Hoes Coming Together. <laughs> Sorry, I always like the name of the episode. It's, it's a such a brilliant show. show. That's also another brilliant show that is worth a watch all the way through. It's Go on Hulu. watch The Boondocks. Last I checked, it was on Hulu. It's not HBO Max. I'm watching it on HBO Max currently. Mm-hmm. Hilarious. It's, it's hilarious. Awesome. 
what broke the boundaries of this show was the fact that they said the N word so freely on television. Uncle and Ruckus. Oh man. <laughs> Such a fucking just... Every day I wake up and I think the Lord and I can't finish this bit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Anyways, um <laughs> Uncle Ruckus died and he became white. Somebody photoshopped Uncle Ruckus's eye onto uh, Kanye. <laughs> was... Oh god. <laughs> When he that's had his, uh, his MAGA hat on, and I, that's that's funny. Um, what's the name of Tom's wife in Boondocks? Just look up Tom's wife, Boondocks. I gotta know the name of this girl. Forget what her name is. I'm gonna stay silent until further notice. Bing bong. Sarah! There you go. There you Damn, go. you're good. Dubois. Dubois. <laughs> Dubois. That's like straight out of an anime handbook. That's yeah. her. <laughs> There's a good one. There you uh -oh. go. It's bringing me to frickin' Boondocks Wikipedia's, man. Especially the episode when, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Tom gets, uh, possessed by the spirit of, um, the oh. dude that he killed yeah. in season one. <laughs> the blind guy, what's his name? Oh, Stinkmonger. I... Stinkmonger, yeah. yeah. Damn, you're good. So Stinkmonger is a blind guy that, uh, the granddad gets into beef with Brandon. Uh -huh. And they decide to get into a fight. And at the end of the episode, it's revealed that he's not good at fighting. The blind guy, he just got really lucky. And Granddad accidentally kills him. <laughs> got it. <laughs> There's his face. There he is. Yeah, that's when he's possessed. Have so you ever that's... seen the one where um, Uncle Ruckus runs into the room and he's tied to the bed? And he's like, read, dude, read. <laughs> and he's screaming. Damn. That's that episode. Such a great show. What All right. did you say, Explicit. <laughs> it's a good episode. It is a good episode. Watch the Boondocks. Watch American Dad. And watch the fam Family Guy. Futurama reboot. And watch our Let's Plays. Support Ukraine. Support Ukraine. Support Ukraine. Yeah, they're doing and good fuck things. Fuck Russia. Fuck Russia. Fuck Russia. We just mean how do we say it? Anybody involved? What's the bionicle's name? <laughs> Napa Nui. Putin. Yeah, Napa Nui. You too. Also Na Nakui. Nakui. Bushel Nakui. Nakui. <laughs> Listen to the beat of the week. Yes. You're missing Always. when you're not listening to the beat of the week. Tune in. At the end of our Let's Plays, it is one of Cyrus's special beat of the week. <laughs> I just get original with it, you know? Featuring SpongeBob. That one's good. I still like that one. It is good. I'm going to figure out a new outro soon, but we'll use that one until then. Yeah. It okay. just works. It's mm. It's funky. Groovy. Go on with like the it. square pants. Yeah, I did. No, triangle head. <laughs> I was going to say dickhead, but I can't really use that in a... Pants squared. Do you know Spongebob's like... like? I don't know. He's Christian because he's really holy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. Where we fuck those holes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't endorse whatever David just said. No, yeah. no. Can we put a giant sensor bar over that? I'm not the one that edits these, but. That yeah, was, it'll just a be a big uh, bleep those holes. <laughs> he could have said sausage those holes. Yeah. Or fuck those holes. Oh, uh, whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to bleep that one. <laughs> the mystery is still there, though. We'll see you folks next week. Thank you for tuning in. Follow us on the socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. Thank you, Cyrus. Be sure to tune in to our Let's Plays every Wednesday. And support us on Patreon. It's only a dollar. Indeed it is. As soon as we see Patreon, we will have uh, video ready to go on. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, plans coming soon for some kind of food competition on the Patreon. So, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you and bye-bye. Yeah.